Good day, traders. The four-step method to high-performance trading is a free course download for increasing your competence and your ability to execute your trading edge in live time. The link for the download is in the description box below. And the free audio program, The 7-Step Daily Routine for High-Performance Traders, is also a free download to develop your discipline, your confidence, and a winning mindset to master the markets. Again, the download for these links is in the description box. They're both free downloads. Let's get started. Trader Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. And in this section, we will be talking about the psychology of winning at trading and understanding my approach to the markets. My main objective is to target parabolic trade setups. Parabolic describes a market that moves a great distance in a very short period of time, frequently moving in an accelerating fashion that resembles one half of a parabola. Parabolic moves can either be up or down. They can happen on any time frame. They can happen on a daily chart. They can happen on a weekly chart. They can happen on a monthly chart. They can happen on an hourly chart. They can happen on a four hour chart. They can happen on a five minute chart. And they can happen on a one minute chart. They can happen on any time frame. And this is what I consider to be the best way for me to trade to have the highest possibility of making easy money. Now what that means is those are trade setups that offer me asymmetrical risk reward opportunities. Now what exactly do I mean by asymmetrical risk reward opportunities? So what exactly does asymmetrical risk reward mean? Well according to classical charting principles, what I'm mainly focusing on are rectangular geometrical structures, uh, ascending, descending triangles, highs and lows of weeks, months, uh, days, head and shoulders patterns over the course of a pump and dump type template, reverse head and shoulders, dump and pump type templates, double bottoms, double tops. Those will all coincide, cup and handle, etc., where they can be projected for range expansions, targeting 5, 10, maybe 20 to 1 or greater in some instances, depending on the time frame being targeted and also the length and duration that the trader is willing to hold on to a position. So just coming and looking at the simple geometrical structure. Rectangle typically will be formed by a high and a low, and that gives us a range. This could be opening range, this could be a three-day rectangle, this could be a three-session rectangle, but we may often see an explosive parabolic opportunity that may coincide for just a low to high range. This could be a monthly chart. This could be a, a daily chart over the course of a month. This could be a five minute chart over the course of three sessions. This could be a three day setup. This could be a 300 pip range. It could be a 3000 pip range. It's all the same because markets are all fractal. But we can also see markets continue these moves and complete range expansions of maybe one or two times their distance as a projected profit target in a parabolic opportunity. Uh, for example, if this was a day trade, perhaps coming in the London session, we may have a U.S. session high, a U.S. session low, Asia putting in a peak formation low, and an explosive parabolic move in London that continues in the U.S. session, and maybe even into the new day into Asia. Or this could be one U.S. session trade. But the difference is that our risk is 1R. We're risking this amount and we're projecting a potential profit target that is maybe two times the range or one time the range or just a session trade from low of day, low of week, whatever this may be, to high of day. Understanding that we're risking 1R and potentially targeting 10R or 5R or 8R, whatever that may be in that instance on that particular trade setup on that day. This is what I like to focus on. Instead of trying to read markets and catch a move back to the high or sell the high and catch a move back down and, and grab this move and catch that move, I'm more interested in letting a market set up maybe over 
three days, three sessions for a explosive move, whether that's in the long direction or the short direction, for a parabolic trade opportunity. You can look at different examples of this over the course of any instrument. In any week, we will see large parabolic asymmetrical risk reward opportunities. And sometimes, depending on the session that we're trading, we may be able to enter into this setup right at the beginning of its move or be in the move when it is continuing in the later session for a low hanging fruit trend continuation trade for the parabolic range expansion. Monday, our opening range. Thursday blows off for a full range expansion for a asymmetrical risk reward, no stress, easy money trade opportunity. Now, regardless if you traded in the London session or the US session, this was a zero stress, no heat trade for a full range expansion of Monday's opening range. And again, an example of a market that just free falls, zero stress, zero emotion, continuing the parabolic move down to the low of the day, the low of the week. Now, one of the things that uh, is important about understanding what makes these moves go parabolic is they are typically driven by other time frame traders when we have everything set up properly and we'll go in and explain what that means. But essentially what that means is we may have monthly traders into the market. If a monthly boundary is broken weekly, if a, a weekly boundary is broken daily, four hour, one hour, etc. But generally speaking, when a four hour high low is broken at the beginning of a week, we now have other time frame traders in the market. When we break a daily level, we have other time frame traders in the market. And if we break a weekly or a monthly level, pretty much every time frame is now in the market. Now in the playbook, we, sp we talk about this on page 28, the importance of timing and the beginning of a new year, the beginning of a new month, the beginning of a new week, a new day, a new four hour candle, the hourly candle and a 15 minute candle, etc., can be the beginning of a large move depending on the setup. So when we come into a new month, we will often see markets reverse or pull back and continue. We'll look at some daily charts to understand the importance of a new month. Same thing happens when we have a new week. The same thing happens when we have a new day. And the same thing happens when we have a new session, Asia, London, or New York, which is why we can have three session setups, why we can have parabolic moves coming out of three session setups and the larger parabolic opportunities that can present over three days, the importance of Monday's opening range and initial balance, because that sets the initial high low for the week, the new week, the new timing cycle. And the same thing can happen as we head into the end of a month or a new month. We can have a week one can be our opening range for a new month. Everything is fractal and it can be extrapolated out further, but our opportunities will become clearer and clearer when we step back and understand the importance of other time frame traders entering into the markets. Now, if we go back and we look at a four hour chart again on that same trade on the Swiss franc, the beginning of a new month coincides. We have the end of May and then we have the beginning of June prior to our, our uh, June 15th parabolic move. Now we have the beginning of a new month and a first red week. First red week is the same as a first red day. First red day is a sell high, high of day, high of session opportunity for a potential large move. If indeed that opportunity presents the market makes a lower low, which is a break in structure on the inside. We talked about that. The break of structure on the inside is the setup for the pump and dump, which we're going to talk about in a moment. This market pumps up at the beginning of the week. This is a four hour chart and coming back to what I just said. When the new day starts, the new week starts, as soon as a four hour candle high low is broken, we have other time frame traders in the market. As soon as a one hour higher low is broken at the beginning of the day, we have other time frame traders in the market. And when we have a daily level broken, we have other time frame traders in the market. This market breaks the low of the previous week prior to our parabolic move on Thursday, day one, day two, day three, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, day two gives us the 
parabolic sell opportunity for the measured move down. We have other time frame traders in the market now. So coming back to what we just talked about, we have all time frames now in the market, a weekly level broken also, lower low, and a pump up into our Thursday session. Daily levels have been broken, weekly levels have been broken. All time frames are in the market. We have low of the month also broken on the new month. We had major red news at 8.30 a.m. New York time. That market broke out through the current low of the day before pulling back at the end of the hour. So again, coming back to time rotation that we just spoke about in the playbook and beginning of a new hour breakout pullback for the continuation. Now, just in simple terms, this is a five minute chart for the continuation trade. 100 pip target for our range expansion. We have on this particular instrument, uh, no more than a 15 pip stop on a currency. And this market is, market is targeting 100 pips. Now this is, we're, we're just identifying parabolic opportunities. These are scalable in size, but for simplicity in this video, coming back to process and understanding the bigger picture template, day one, day two, day three. Now I wanna revisit this concept again that markets only do three things. They break out, they pull back, and they continue to trend. They break out, they stall and reverse, and I give us a false break reversal potential opportunity, or they trade back and forth between a high and a low level in a, a trading range. That is the only three things that markets do. Now, if we come back and look at our template again, we have Monday's opening range. Tuesday, after Monday and Tuesday print, we have our opening range and initial balance. Tuesday is a first red day, a day that closes below the open after a peak formation high of the week. First red day also. First red day is a high of session, high of day selling opportunity if indeed it presents. And that market then proceeded to break out on our day three, parabolic day three free cash Wednesdays for a opening range breakout. Now that market then proceeded to auction back up into the Close of the session, I believe this was also a Fed day, FOMC, that auctioned back up inside of the range and into our inside day breakout level before collapsing and breaking down prior to our US session. Now again, we had a uh, high of day selling opportunity, but our continuation low hanging fruit trade in the US session was for a potential parabolic range expansion after the opening range breakout. The low hanging fruit is a trend continuation trade, page 96 in the playbook. We know that other time frame traders are in the market. Remember what we discussed, other time frame traders driving these larger moves. And even if we just take a potential range expansion of our rectangle bodies on the day high low rectangle, for a projected profit target, a measured move of that rectangle itself. Again, classical charting patterns, we have a rectangular high-low pattern and a breakout of that geometry. Gives us an expected profit target of two full range expansions. Very similar to what we had as a 100% expansion of the range from our opening range breakout pullback continuation trade on Thursday, day two in our new Wednesday Thursday, Friday, day one, day two, day three, template. Now I'm demonstrating the process, strictly the process. This applies on any instrument on any given week, looking for an opportunity each day for a potential either three session parabolic opportunity, which we'll look at next, or a three day parabolic opportunity. And in some cases, again, as we see a brand new month starting, this is when we can see some of the easy money being made. Day one, day two, day three, opening range breakout, pullback, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for the range expansion trade on day two in our new Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, three day template. Now, sometimes we'll just get a session parabolic opportunity. Day three, obviously there could be other trades within this template but monday tuesday wednesday an asian session parabolic opportunity this is a 15 minute chart on the euro yen an example of a day three parabolic blow off in the direction of the trend 
first bar trade right into the beginning of our session also breaking out of the low of the current week and the low of the day for a measured move range expansion trading through Monday's opening range expansion but if we just back this up a little bit you'll notice that we have a US session rectangle that breaks out in the open of our Asian session for one full range expansion that completes at the beginning of the Europe window but looking at our major round numbers, we've come off of 50 and traded down to 75 in the Asian session itself. We'll build on this video in terms of trade management, uh, risk management, taking profits and understanding that my objective is not to try and uh, buy something and hold on to it forever or sell something and hold on to it forever in hopes that it goes for 500 pips. My objective is to target high probability or high possibility 90-10 trade setups that can be scaled up in size that are going to go parabolic. And when they're parabolic trade setups, they can be scaled up in size. And coming back to what we talked about, other time frame traders driving this move, we have three days, three days now, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, day one, day two, day three, setting up this move. We have other time frame traders driving this parabolic blow off. So often traders say, oh, this is risky. It's more like, a, you know, asymmetrical reward risk. You're taking on a lot of uh, risk for a little bit of reward when in all reality, we're actually aligning ourselves with the longer time frames. We have a lot of juice behind these moves. And when they go parabolic in that blow off, the likelihood of them coming back against us is in the 10% category, which is why we target the trade setups where it's easy to make money. If we just back this up and look at our four hour chart again, understanding that once a four hour high low is broken, we have other time frame traders in the market. And we can take the low of the previous week and the high of the current week on our day three and give us an area of where this market may potentially be trading through. Now on day three, we came through that range so understanding time rotation, the beginning of a new four hour chart begins at the new day and that market traded through our range expansion. That target had not yet been hit and our Asian session day three parabolic gave us the opportunity for that easy, no stress day three parabolic Asian session trade. Now just in closing, uh, in the interest of time, because we'll build on this video in the future videos and, and really dive a bit more into the three day setup, the three session setup, and also entries, trade management, taking profits, et cetera. But I want to focus on a, a simple thing that we talk about over and over again, and that's three levels of rise and fall. Now we have a market that on Wednesday today made higher highs. And so we, when the market breaks out, we redraw that level, higher highs, it broke the previous day's high and we need to understand a couple simple things when that happens we have now triggered other time frame traders into the market so they've either bought up high and when a market buys up high like that they typically will put some heat into traders who have gone long on these other time frames whether it be hourly four hour daily weekly and monthly in particular in this particular case it is as it is the high of the the new current month before dropping down we're in the double zero box, a hundred pip box. And we talk about upper level for selling, bottom level for buying, three levels of drop from 100 to 75, 75 to 50 and 50 down, not quite to 25. And what does the market do? It traps volume down low. This is the dead giveaway for the dump and pump. And we'll just spend a couple of minutes on that before we take off. Higher high right before the session begins for our dump and pump. So getting rid of everything else, getting rid of everything else to the left other than the high and the low, we now have a higher high, which gives us our little V trajectory for the dump and pump setup, the dump and pump setup. That V bottom is the setup down low, three levels of drop consolidation. So again, coming back to geome geometrical structures, Peter Brandt patterns within patterns, a little rectangle at the bottom of the range which breaks out of our larger rectangle larger rectangle for the explosive parabolic trend trade now this pattern that we just talked about right here this three levels of drop and consolidation 
We'll go take a look at this again after the market breaks out. First hour puts in a high and the market dumps down into the end of the hour. A new hour begins and that is our dump and pump after our breakout of our rectangle. This is not a stop hunt. This is a breakout pullback continuation dump and pump. Now if we zoom in a bit tighter here, what we'll see on the one minute chart, again this is gold, is a new 100 pip box, three levels of drop, consolidation underneath 50 for the, you guessed it, the dump and pump. Now even more interesting is that as we just spoke about in the playbook, the beginning of a new timing cycle. The second hour. The second hour begins. And when the second hour begins, it pins down through that little low, but it also engulfs the first candle of the new hour. And if we put our universal EMA on there, just for clarity, this also aligns with the first bounce opportunity for traders who were savvy to that or who were already looking at trading this in the new hour for an easy measured move range expansion and even if we just use our high low rectangle of that high low first hour uh, bodies and the low of the second hour we can see a projected range expansion of well over 100 pips so nothing new under the sun everything is fractal there's no guessing three levels of drop three levels of rise for asymmetrical risk reward opportunities. Asymmetrical is when we have potential range expansions. We're targeting one R for maybe five, 10, 15, or 20 R. That is an asymmetrical risk reward opportunity. It's not guessing and getting into something and saying I want five times my profit target. It is actually having a mechanical model and an understanding that this market is set up for a parabolic move. Consolidation, large, fast, explosive moves will come out of consolidated markets. Three levels of drop, consolidation. Just as we just saw, three levels of drop, consolidation. News explosion, a news momentum catalyst opportunity, a first bounce, other time frame traders driving this market for an easy, zero stress, high probability, best trade setup. So we'll get into this in the coming videos. I'm going to build on this video, but breaking this down, hopefully traders understand the process is imperative. On day threes, we're looking for parabolic opportunities. We can see breakout trades. We can see reversal trades, but the market is going to continue to do the same things. Don't trade these little bars back and forth. Look at the bigger structure. Understand the importance of range expansions as potential profit targets, understand how they will build, understand the bigger picture of a day one, day two, day three parabolic opportunity. Keep it simple traders, we'll speak in the next video, 1% better every single day and may the markets go with you.